Wedding and Shemitah is like buying for Pesach. Yeah. <laughs> shalom Aleichem. Shalom, shalom. Nice to meet you. Okay, so one of the other options, which I find very uh, easy to do, not problematic, is matzah menutak, which means... Um, detached platform. Detached, detached. So they're not grown in the ground of Israel, inside the soil. It's grown above ground, and therefore it doesn't have to get involved in the Shemitah process because it's above ground. So how does that work physically and halachically? Okay. Matzah menutak, you put a special net house that has a double net on the top. That's right. the first thing. And on the bottom, you have a plastic, a double plastic sheet. And on it, you have planters. And each planter has usually one vegetable, lettuce, cabbage, etc. That's the trick. One of the best options, halachically, most of the kashrut organizations approve it. Right. Mo in Gush Katif, everybody approved it. Right. Because it was Ole Mitzrayim. And Ole Bavel, so it was a double whammy. <laughs> right. And Ole Bavel, almost everybody approves right. it. L l to be honest. So in Gush Katev was Oli Mitzrayim and Menutak. And Menutak, and that was, so was all the rabbis came to us. I mean, uh, there we have pictures. All the rabbis So it was two, it was, it was two heterim, basically. Two heterim together, and it was Mehadrin. And insect free, which is right. a different issue. The price is so, higher. What can so you that do? brings us to the last option, which is similar to Menutak, and that's hydroponic. Correct. And I did see that right over here. Correct. Right over here, I see uh, this one over here. Pocachoy. Yes. Okay, so help us work through it. It says here, hydroponic. Gidul hydroponic. Gidul hydroponic is hydroponic. Nice biblical word right in the Tanakh, hydroponic. Hydroponic, <laughs> yes. So what does this uh, mean exactly? As Explain. we know, today the world goes to growing indoors right. and hydroponic. It has Which a is lot. just water. Only and, on water. And the fertilizer. And fertilizer right. nutrition, because right. water is not enough. So they can go with gidul hydroponic is almost always matzah minutat indoors because it's in a net. Right. It's, under, it's not under the, the sky, it's covered and it's disconnected from the ground. So almost always hydroponic is matzah menutak, and then they grow it sometimes all year round. Right. Not for Shemitah. Right. But for Shemitah, it's an extra for them. Right. In Israel, it's still considered like a boutique. Right, You right. know, expensive things, you know, right. bocaccio, salnoba, lettuce, not the, the regular vegetables. Right. But yes, slowly, slowly, we see more and more. The cabbage, we found a way to take a cabbage and to put it in the fridge, special fridge, for four months. Okay. You take it out and you buy it. You didn't know it's four months old. Wow. A technology from Germany, whatever. They have it in the world, but nobody did it in Israel. Now, what will happen if ne next Shemitah will have technology to store it for eight months and a Shemitah afterwards for a whole year? And what will happen if Bezrat Hashem Sumer in a few Shemitot, you will take a cucumber, grow it on the sixth year, put it in the fridge for the whole year. And just wait it out. No. What we will have is the blessing. Yeah. The Torah says, I will give you a blessing in the sixth year. Sixth year, right. And you will have three double times. or three times. Three times of produce. My interpretation. This is one way. One interpretation. The right. farmer will grow in the sixth year twice as much. Right. We will have technology. God will give us the miracle of knowing how to store it. The farmer would rest in Shemitah. The land will rest in Shemitah. And we will have what to eat and not uh, uh, doing other options, which are all fine, but this is according to all opinions, which is 100%. Right. We're, we're getting close. We're there. getting there. Step by step. One more question which you didn't ask. What do people in Chutz Laharetz, for example, they go to Costco, and they see produce from Israel, and it doesn't have any Otsera Aretz, it doesn't have Rav Afrati, it has nothing, it just says made in Israel. So there's all sorts of warnings from rabbis in Chutz Laharetz. What is your opinion and the opinion of Otsera okay. Haaretz, how to deal with produce from Israel? Because it's sad, you know, you're telling the non-Jewish person in Costco, oh, I can't buy that, it's from Israel. And they think like, what are you, like uh, an anti-Zionist or you hate Israel? So how do you deal with all, that? All year around, I do tours almost every week, and people told me even in a regular year we don't buy because of Tumot and Maisrot. Right. So let's learn how to do Tumot and Maisrot and buy all six years. When we come to Shemitah, we have to know all of the produce that is exported, and I checked it because I got questions, are Heter Aha. Uh -huh. You don't have produce that is not even Heter Mechira. What, we, they won't let it go out of the country? The, the farmers that export are the big 
farmers, the big guys. not the schleppers, the small ones. You're, you're not and a small farmer if you sell to Costco. Exactly. <laughs> you're a big and guy. all the big farmers have hit the mechira. I checked it with somebody with Rabbanut, agronomists. I can say 99.999% that all the export is hit the If you rely on hit the you can so if shouldn't it say, it. so if you go to Costco, shouldn't it say Heter Mechir? Well, it's too complicated because you're in a it's too complicated. and there's non-Jews there, they don't know. But Lamaisa, it probably is Heter Mechira. Everything is Heter Mechira. If you hold by Heter Mechira, oh, it's fine. If not, you have to remember, if you get oranges now from Israel, it's still the six-year produce. Right. So don't start buying fruit from the beginning of Shemitah. Right. Because it's still, when will you have the first oranges, Shemitah uh, oranges, that if you don't do it, you shouldn't buy, you go according to the list that right. we said before, right. what month you have, and these are these updates that you say, and I get questions from the OU, tell me that the end of Shemitah, when will the carrots start, start being right. Shemitah? So we, we have lists and we answer questions because it's very dynamic. When will be the first carrots planted after Shemitah right. that they export? So we right. told them to Bishvat after a check. Right, right. But, uh, but I, listen, if somebody, that is halachic uh, opinion, Okay, etrogim, most of the esrogim, and this year this coming, the coming up year for would be shmita etrogim, That's gonna be shmita. which most of them would be otzar beitin etrogim. Right. Most of them, and most Rav Soloveitchik, most poskim allow Rav Moshe Feinstein as well allow to export otzar beitin etrogim. You have to know exactly what to do, etc. But you allow. So that's a whole other issue, which is. You're not supposed to send kedushat shviat fruit, fruit specifically, or vegetables. Fruits also. and vegetables. Both. So you're not supposed to send it to chutzlar. It's all you, together. You're right. There's a long discussion about it, but according to most opinion, you shouldn't. Etrogim, because today we grow them for the mitzvah and not for eating them. Like I in see. Ancient times. So it's a different uh, so, purpose. So most poskim uh, allow doing it. So if you're in Costco and you see oranges or apples from the Golan Heights in Israel. Is it acceptable even with the Heter Mechira because it's Kedushat Shviyad or it's not Kedushat Shviyad because it's Heter Mechira? If you hold by Heter Mechira, it's not Kadosh. It's not Kadosh, it's not a problem. If you hold half Heter Mechira, you don't really rely on it, but you don't think it's treif. Right. So maybe you would buy it and keep Kedushat Shviyad. Right. And if you don't hold it by at all, so it's still Kadosh for you. Right. And you, you wouldn't eat it because a farmer grew it in a way that he planted it in Shemitah in a way that in a, in, a, in a way that you think is not valid. Right. So it's a little bit complicated, but you walked us through it, and we'll make a little chart to go through the, I think, the eight different options. I think I have them over here. Have it. This over here. We have the yeah. Kedushat Shviit, which is usually Ochsa Bezdin. Correct. We have the Avul Shishit, which we saw over there before. We have the Minutak, right. and, and the Hydroponic, and hydroponic which, is which we just two, looked at over here. One. Yes. Right. We have the Chul. We have the Ole Mitzrayim, and the Aravad Rumi, which you explained before. We have the Nochri, which we said they sell in Oshrad and other places, and in the other store, uh, the Deal Vazol. Sure. And then we have the Heter Mechira, which you explained is not a problem with Lo Techonein, and certainly all the chief rabbis of Israel say it is an acceptable option. From so the we beginning have, to the last one. So we have a total of eight, maybe even nine different options of buying fruits and vegetables in Israel. It's quite a bit. Quite, but, quite, but, 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 quite challenging. But we learned about but it. But we're happy. Yes. We're happy that there are so many options to keep Shemitah. Thank you so much. Thank Hope to you. hear from you again. I'm in. The biblical Shemitah sabbatical year is ending in Israel. We are Israeli farmers. We love our land. And we love planting. Farmers who haven't planted anything for an entire year will be planting double this year. Double the planting, double the blessing. Double the fruits. Double the pomegranates. Double the apples. Double the figs. Double the grapes. But there's more. This is a unique opportunity which happens just once in seven years, and you can be a part of the first fruits. The Bible says, Honor God with your wealth and with the first of all your produce. This is the first planting of the post Shemitah year, and we are excited. We want to partner with you. With you. With you. Is you. First fruits, first opportunity. Double the planting, double the blessing. Double the blessing! Plant your trees now and have your share in Israel's first fruits.